Hello everyone and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. This is Colin and today we're going to do a playthrough of The Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth. Now I know Mike has done a wonderful intro scenario, let you guys see how the game plays, but what I would like to do here is actually walk you through a specific campaign. Because you know me, that's what I love to do. <laughs> Uh, but that does mean, I'm going to tell you right now, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. There's going to be spoilers. I'm not doing the first scenario. I'm going to do the second one, the Ember's Crown or something like that, because I don't, well, the first one is a lot of scenarios. I think there's 14. I think the second one is supposed to be less. So I haven't actually played it, uh, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can get through it all, but yeah, I'm kind of excited. So I will start us off. This is actually the app. Uh, I was fortunate enough to find it on Steam, and I have figured out how to record my screen, finally. It only took me this long, you guys. <laughs> so we'll be jumping back and forth between this and the uh, video camera. So what we'll do is we'll select New Game. Okay, so we're going to do the hunt for the Ember Crown. The roads of Breland were beset by marauding wargs, bolder and cleverer than the land has known in many years. The Thane of the Shire has been slow to react, for say the rumors, something else darkens his thoughts. The Thane has welcomed odd visitors into his home, and he has kept everyone tight-lipped about what troubles him so. With the Thane so distracted, the task falls to you to secure the Shire, as only bold heroes dare travel the wilderness in these troubled times. So we'll select difficulty. I'm definitely going to play on normal. <laughs> Let's grab a save slot. It's our first one. See, I've never used uh, the Steam version before. So I want to play with Aragorn because I actually haven't played with him yet. I want to play with Elena because I haven't played Elena myself and I haven't played Legolas myself. I've played everybody else. So we're going to do Aragorn, Elena, and Legolas, two elves and a human who's kind of an elf. So it kind of makes sense. <laughs> Let's see. Our starting items. We'll grab the normal standard items. Can you change it? You can click. Oh, cool. Cool, you can replace it, but I'm not going to. I like this. We'll have the harp, the dagger for Elena. Legolas will have the cloak and the great bow, and Aragorn will have the travel garb, the sword, and the banner. So we're going to grab a party name, and we're going to call ourselves the Co-op Shop. Every day, more reports come in from the Bounders patrolling the borders of the Shire and Bree. Each one speaks of bloody skirmishes with vicious wargs, sometimes victorious, more often not. The Thane of the Shire, responsible for protecting its people, is the first to notice that these skirmishes are not random. On the contrary, the vicious and cunning wargs are systematically drawing away the bounders who protect the Shire and ravaging the unprotected livestock and, on occasion, travellers on the roads. Never before have beasts shown such shrewdness. Yet the Thane is withdrawn and distracted, offering only token measures to protect the Shire. What could darken his mind more than the walk threat? And with that, we will hit embark. I love how this looks, you guys. Here's the map of Lord of the Rings. And we hit continue, and it will zoom up to the spot where we are. So we're right outside of the Shire. It looks like kind of out of the South Downs over there. The roads near Breland and the Shire have been plagued by wargs in recent days. Wargs are a rare sight so close to settlements of men and hobbits, and few travelers are prepared to deal with them. Charged with securing the roads, you track a warg pack until you hear cries for help. This also lets us know right here that this will be on a battle map. So I'm kind of excited to get to show you a battle map scenario. So we have Aragorn, Elena, and Legolas. Now, normally Aragorn would be captain, but I'm going to make him guardian. I'm looking for someone to have some defense. I think that's going to be important. Elena, I'm going to keep her as a musician because I love my inspiration. <laughs> and Legolas, instead of being the hunter, I'm going to have him be the captain. Uh, just because he can allow other people to attack, yeah, it can kind of be helpful. So let's hit embark. Your small band has been traveling for over a week through rough country, but now you are nearing the edges of civilized farms. You see signs of the odd horse or carriage having passed here earlier in the day. Place the battle map as indicated. Great. As the sun rides high in the sky, you wipe some sweat from your brow. Another hill falls away behind you. Place each hero as indicated, and then each hero will scout three. 
Before we jump into Scouting 3, I just want to show you what we have set up for our three characters. So we have Legolas here. He has a total of six fear that he can have, four damage that he can have before we have to do a final stand. Uh, he, Since he is starting as a captain, he starts with the well-provisioned skill card out. He also has a great bow here, which with one success will get two hits, and two successes will get five hits. That means three successes is seven hits, and he has his cloak. Here we have Elena. Elena's ability is once per test, after you spend one inspiration, a nearby hero gains one inspiration. That's awesome. She, since she is a musician, has the endless melody already prepped. She's got a cloak, a dagger, which for one success will do two hits, and for two successes will do three hits and a pierce. And she's got her harp, which states at the beginning of her turn, anyone in her space that has no inspiration gains one. Oh, sweet. Last but certainly not least is Aragorn. Now, Aragorn's ability is awesome. When heroes scout during the rally phase, you and nearby heroes each reveal one additional card. <laughs> so this is not the rally phase that we're doing right now. This is We're being instructed by the app to scout, uh, so I'm only going to still scout three. He has the You Cannot Pass because he's a guardian, and that's his starting card out. He's got the Travel Garb, the Sword, and the Banner. Okay, let's go ahead and scout three. So I like to be able to look at all the cards together because technically when you play this cooperatively, you will all do your scouts at the same time. So up here we have Legolas, then we have Elena, then we have Aragorn. Okay, so that's our order. So for Legolas, Keen Eyes is amazing because he can attack two spaces away. Don't forget he's got the Great Bow, and the Great Bow lets you attack an adjacent space. But Keen Eyes lets him attack two spaces away. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Keen Eyes and prep that and put both of these at the bottom of his deck. Elena has the Traveling Song. That one is awesome because when you move into a space, you may discard this skill for you and up to two nearby heroes to each gain one inspiration. Yeah, we're taking a success out of our deck because of that, but totally worth it. Both of these on the bottom, this prepped. And for Aragorn, his agility stinks, so I kind of like that, but this ability is awesome because when you test to negate, he automatically gets a success, and it's a guard too. But it does take a success out of her deck. Oh, that's tough. I think we're going to do the honed agility. I just, I know that agility is used a lot of times for defense, and getting that one success would be nice. So I'm going to prep this. This will go on top, and then we'll put this one on the bottom. So jumping back to the app, we will hit continue, and we'll see, okay, we're placing two bushes and two boulders, okay, we'll hit continue, we are placing, when you reach the crest of the hill, you see a collapsed cart with an old hobbit sheltering beneath its canvas and wood, place a person token as indicated, there isn't much left of the cart, but there might be something salvageable in the wreckage, place a search token as indicated, and three growling vorgs pace around the wreckage. This must be the pack you were tracking. It's a good thing you arrived when you did. <laughs> right, continue, let's see where they are. Okay, so we've got one in here, one over here, and this denotes that it's just a different type, not that it's an elite. And the third one there, awesome. Then we'll go ahead and hit continue. And we have some barrels placed here, so we'll hit continue. It looks like the cart was carrying a load of barrels, but now the barrels have tumbled to one side of the hill. They seem to be leaking some sticky substance. We've already increased our lore by two. Great. The quickest way to get to somewhere settled is through this area. There shouldn't be wargs this close to farmland. At the very least, you might be able to help this poor traveler escape a grisly fate. So we needed to defeat the wargs. Action phase. All right, we're ready to go. Here we have our battle map. I did, you guys, paint my miniatures. <laughs> These are my first miniatures I've ever painted was for this game. So I'm super excited to show you guys. <laughs> uh, they're not great, okay? So please don't tell me how terrible they are. I know, but I'm just happy that there's color on the board. <laughs> okay, so how this game works, we can decide who's going to go first. Not even a question. We're going to have Elena go first. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Elena come over here and look at these barrels. If you look over here with her harp, at the start of your turn, a hero in your space who has zero inspiration gains one inspiration. So I think I'm going to go ahead and give this to Legolas. I want Legolas to have inspiration so he can hopefully take out two wargs, which would be awesome. 
the other thing we're going to do is use our traveling song. So when you move into a space, you may discard this skill for you and up to two nearby heroes to gain an inspiration. Well, when she moves one space, all three heroes are going to be nearby because nearby is within a range of one. So I'm going to give Aragorn, Legolas, and Elena one inspiration. We're going to move ourselves one. Technically, then we discarded the traveling song. It was just easier to show you the card at that point. And then two for our second movement to move in with the barrels. Now, those barrels we could also interact with normally, which would be uh, to test, I think it's our wit. And if we get two successes, we could actually do four points of damage to an enemy that's either in our space or in a nearby space. But I think right now we're going to look at the app and then we'll have options with, our, with what we can do with these barrels. What we can do is we will click on this. These barrels are leaking something vicious into the grass. You may interact with the barrels to loose them at a nearby enemy and this does not provoke attacks, or you can investigate what the traveler was transporting. I definitely want to investigate. Examining the barrels, you realize that they could be easily repaired by some supplies you have on hand. However, the jelly-like substance leaking into the grass smells harsh and caustic. Maybe you could use it as a weapon. Well, this is Elena that we're talking about. She's a musician. I feel like she'd be good with her hands and probably wouldn't be chucking that stuff at enemies. So let's try and patch the barrels. Working with your hand well covered, you attempt to patch the damaged barrels. So now we're trying to test our wit. And our wit is three for Elena. You can see here that our wit is three. So we will go ahead and flip one, two, and three, oh, no successes. Bummer, but we can use this one inspiration for one success. Oh, that isn't great, but it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know what else we can do. So we'll go ahead and do that and gain one success. I have a feeling that's not gonna be enough. Now, technically, you guys, once per our test, after we spend an inspiration, a nearby hero gains an inspiration, we're two spaces away, no one's nearby us. So kind of a bummer, we can't do that. We'll jump back to the app. We'll click one. You make some progress, but the barrels continue to leak a bit. Yeah, I was kind of assuming. Okay. All right, that is Elena's turn. Let's go ahead and move to, yeah, I think we're going to do Legolas next. The reason we want to do Legolas is we want to do well provisioned. At the start of your turn, you may discard this skill for you and a nearby hero to scout too. So let's have Legolas scout first. Oh, <laughs> great, getting that weakness out of there, and Undying Might. Hmm. Let's just prep Undying Might, throw this at the bottom of our deck. Yeah, get that out of there. At least we got an automatic uh, miss out of our deck. Aragorn will also scout two. Now you notice I'm only scouting at two, not three. Uh, oh, Ancient Wisdom and Ready Defense. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll uh, prep Ancient Wisdom just to get that out of there. And we knew the ready defense was there before, so we're putting that success back on top. But yeah, you might notice that I only scouted the two because we're not in the rally phase right now. If we were in the rally phase, we could have added one to that scout. Thanks to Legolas's keen eyes, he's not even going to have to move. He's going to go ahead and attack this warg right here. He only needs four hits. So that means he just needs two successes, and he has two inspirations. So that's awesome. You can see here with his great bow, he'll go ahead and attack using his agility. His agility is four. So we'll reveal four cards. Oh, time of need. Oh, there's one success. Uh, come on, another one. Yes, two successes. That's five hits. And we don't even have to use any inspiration for it. We're attacking the warg that does not have a flag. Five hits should be enough. Awesome. Confirm. Sayonara. Uh, we have to give a hero, a nearby hero, one inspiration. Let's go ahead and give that to Aragorn. So Aragorn will now have two as well. The first war goes down, snapping its jaws to the last. You notice a carved bone tangled in the fur of its ruff. Lore increased by one. Cool. Well, I kind of feel like we might as well attack that other warg that's only two spaces away. So we also need just two successes. And we'll flip four cards. One, two... Three, okay, there's one success. Four, okay, so we'll have to use one inspiration for this, but then we have enough to do five damage again. We attacked the green warg, so we'll grab this. We've done five points of damage. Awesome, confirm. 
And I think, yep, we'll get one inspiration. I think I'm going to give that right back to Layla. So he still has two. And we'll hit continue. The second warg drops with a whimper. With only one left, you see that all three have an unusual russet tint to their fur. And we continue to increase our lore. Awesome. Well, that was definitely a good turn for Legolas. So I think with Aragorn, he can't even get over to that final warg. Let's go ahead and let him come to us. So I think with Aragorn, we're just going to come over here, and we're also going to inspect that, that barrel. Our wit is three, so maybe we can get a couple more successes. I don't know. Let's see. We'll go ahead and click on the barrel. We're going to investigate, and we're going to try and patch. And yes, we are doing the same thing. We're attempting to test our wit. Looking for as many successes as we can get. <laughs> so we know we have one. And there's a second one. Awesome. Wow. Okay, I'll take three straight successes. That You can't get much better than that. <laughs> Let's see if this means we have enough. Uh, yes, it is. Sealing the barrels completely. You wipe your tools off on the grass. Whatever the traveler was transporting will be salvageable. Nice. Lore increased by one. Okay, but that, oh wait, y you've salvaged whatever the barrel contains, but the warg are still attacking. You will need to clear them from the area before you or the traveler can continue on your way. We'll hit continue. Okay, we have had everyone do their two actions, so we'll click this. We'll end our action phase. Now we move to the shadow phase. So we have uh, this warg moving three to attack Aragorn. He definitely can because he's here. One, two, three. So we'll hit attack. And of course, his spirit negates. A stench rises from the warg's pelt as it closes in on you. You can feel its growl deep in your bones. Uh, we're trying to block both one physical damage and one fear. That warg will rush in and attack Aragorn. We do have two inspirations, so hopefully that'll help us. But our spirit is two, you guys. So we need two successes. That's an auto fail. Yeah, I think we've got to do it. We're going to use one of these to block one. And then this says, um, oh, and it's only suffering face down. So yeah, we're going to block uh, the damage because we have plus one fear thanks to our travel garb. So we'll take one of the fear, uh, fear damage, so to speak. We've grabbed our cards. Let's go ahead and flip them. And we have gloom, just the general gloom. Flip this face down. So we'll just have this out. If ever we get six of those, we'll have to do a final stand. We'll then go ahead and hit confirm. The shadow deepens, though hope yet endures. Increasing the threat by six. That means something's happening. Scrambling over the hill, a wave of enemies seek to pin you down. We have one goblin scout and... We have, ooh, one orc marauder right where Aragorn and Elena are. Next, let's see, nothing else. Okay, we have our rally phase. So as long as everyone that is adjacent or nearby to Aragorn can scout three. Unfortunately, Legolas didn't move, so he can only scout two. <laughs> That's a bit of a bummer, but okay. Let's go ahead and do our scouting. And you guys, can I pretend I was smart? I was going to do this with Elena, and I totally forgot. She had Endless Melody out. So at the end of her turn, she can discard this to prepare a song skill. And that traveling song is just so good. We're going to go ahead and do that. So this traveling song is prepped, and the Endless Med Medley is now in our deck. Here we have our cards for our scout action. Legolas, Elena, Aragorn. <laughs> Legolas really likes that lead the charge. So I think we're going to go ahead and prep that. It's just so good. And then we'll put the Honed Agility on the bottom of our deck. Elena has all basics here, but we've always seemed to need Wit. So I'm going to go ahead and prep Clever Wit and put these two on the bottom. And then for Aragorn, I think we're going to throw the Undying Might out, then put Ready Defense on top and Time of Need. Oh, but that could be used. I've got... Nah. No, we'll put Time of Need on the bottom. So Time of Need on the bottom, prepping Undying Might and putting this on top. There we go. That was round one of Journeys in Middle-Earth. You can see here we've got two enemies right with Elena and Aragorn. Legolas is over here, and we do have a Goblin Scout over there. Let's go ahead and jump into the next round. To start this round, I think we're going to have Legolas from here use his keen eyes again, and he's going to attack that Varg two spaces away. We need a total of two successes. We do have one Inspiration. So, oh, our weakness, great. One, two, oh, that does not look good. 
three. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, that's lucky. Okay, we'll use this. That's our two successes for a total of five hits. We'll jump back to the app, and if we adjust that for the five hits, that Varg is toast. Heck yeah. And it looks like we get an inspiration, so we'll give that right back to Legolas. No one is near him anyway, so we have to. Now that the area is clear of wargs, the traveler ventures out to of cover. A thousand thanks, friends. I was on my way to the Shire urgently when these beasts ran me from the road, he says. The old man looked at you closely. I suppose you may be able to help further. It sounds like he has something serious on his mind. So we need to speak with the traveler. Okay, that's what our next step is. What we're going to do next is we're going to use that inspiration that we earned to use Legolas's ability. He can move one space without it being an action. Because now what he's going to do is he's going to attack this orc. Okay? Why I want to do that is because now, after that, I can discard lead the charge to then let Aragorn attack him as well. What I am a little bit worried about is I already have two successes out of the four out of my deck. So we'll see what I get. And I have no inspiration. So one two three and four okay we only got one success that means we only have two hits so what i think i'm also going to do is use my keen eyes and i'm going to use the strike two as well yeah so that means i'm doing a total of four hits because whenever you do a strike two it adds to the total amount of hits that you're doing not successes so i got one success with two hits plus the strike two so that's four hits and then after that after you attack, you may discard this skill to gain one inspiration and for a nearby hero also to attack. So uh, Legolas will get an inspiration back and that will allow Aragorn to attack as well. Here we have our Orc Marauder. Look, see, he needs a total of seven hits. So that's why I really wanted to at least get four in. And then maybe Aragorn can take him out? Uh, we'll see. So we'll confirm that. And the enemy cannot attack because Legolas is one space away, so we can just say no. Now Aragorn will get to draw three cards doing an attack. Oh, sweet. That's one success. And, oh, that's two. That's what we need. Two successes gives us five total hits. If we look here, three health and two armor. One, two, three, four, five. Just enough. Confirm. And we're going to go ahead and have Aragorn keep that inspiration. So he just gained another inspiration. Nice. Legolas's turn is now complete. We'll go ahead and move to Elena. Elena's going to take one step here, and then she's going to use her traveling song. So we'll uh, discard that, and that means both she and Aragorn will gain one inspiration. Also, I should not forget that she has the uh, harp. So she should actually receive another inspiration at the beginning of her turn. So she has two, and she just gave a third one to Aragorn. <laughs> okay, her second action is she's going to move to here. Uh, I shouldn't say second action, second movement, because her second action is she's going to talk to that hobbit. Or should we look at the cart first? Hmm. You know, I think we're going to talk to the hobbit first, and then if everything goes okay, which it probably won't, <laughs> then we can deal with the cart. We'll go ahead and click on the hobbit. The Traveler Couches. Yes, let's talk to him. Ah, friend, you are a wonder. You saved all the medicine I was transporting to the Thane of the Shire. If we hurry, we could still get most of it safely there. The Traveler readies his pack to leave. Discard this terrain token. Just then, an enormous russet warg, more fearsome and mighty than the ones lying slain at your feet, crests the hill. In a growling and truncated speech, the monster speaks to you. The warg bears horrible black fangs, the color of deepest caverns. She noses at one of the wargs you killed, then turns a hard gaze at you. Wretched creatures, she says in Western, the language of men and of the Shire, though the words are growled more than spoken. Killers, let the earth run red, death for death. With that, the beast throws back its head to howl, a chilling sound full of grief and fury. In answer, you hear the guttural or roars of orcs, men, and goblins. With one last snarl, the russet warg disappears again over the hill. Escape the warg's wrath. <laughs> yeah, I was assuming something bad was going to happen. Oi, over here, the traveler waves to you. A narrow track runs between the hills, and it is not yet completely blocked by enemies. If you could get your party there, you'd be able to escape. 
Uh, place a surge token as indicated and move the traveler to that space. Okay, right here. I have a feeling that's not just what we're going to see. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we have one ruffian. And what else? Come on, that can't be it. We have another ruffian. And anything else? Yeah, another ruffian. Wow, three ruffians. Hopefully that's it. <laughs> no, no, it's definitely not. Another ruffian, and this one I believe is elite. Jeez. Okay, what's next? Oh, that's it. Okay, that, that's it. <laughs> well, we have quite a few enemies on the board, <laughs> but Aragorn is here with a uh, ruffian, so we're going to go ahead and attack him. I did confirm none of these are elite. They're all just five health, so we might be okay here. I, I think we can at least take out one. We're hoping for five points of damage, so we will draw three cards for our attack. Oh, that's a fail, and that's a success. I'll take that. And we will definitely use an inspiration. So that's a total of three. That means we did five hits. And I shouldn't say three, two successes, five hits. That means we should be able to take this guy out. Awesome. And he'll give us an inspiration that we'll keep for us. Yeah, awesome. Okay, and then we're going to have Aragorn move. I'm a little bit worried about Elena. So we're going to go ahead and move one, two. I know that that once again means I'm leaving Legolas over here. He won't get to scout three, but he's honestly fine. <laughs> uh, Elena here is covered in enemies. So we'll come into here. We can't attack, but at least we'll be there to hopefully soak some damage. Okay, let's go and end the round. Unfortunately, we're going to have four enemies now activating. Shadow phase, let's see. First, okay, attacking Legolas or closest. He'll be able to attack something. We'll see what that is in a second. A goblin's hardened leather has the scars of many battles, and they respond to each of your maneuvers with skills to match. After this, this attack, discard one prepared card. Ooh, and that's regardless. Okay, so the closest hero, since Legolas is way over here, is going to be Elena. So he's going to come into here and attack Elena. Elena's might is a whopping two cards. One. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's our one success we need to block, but we are going to have to discard this prepped card regardless. Let's see who's next. Well, uh, this enemy is, uh, this brigand is going to attack Elena, or the closest hero. I'm sure we'll figure out who. A ruffian brandishes a jagged knife. The blade, although rusted in places, looks very sharp. So spirit will negate. This is two. If you suffer any physical damage from this attack, gain one weakness and shuffle it in your deck. Oh, that ruffian can definitely get to Elena. So he's going to move into here and attack her for two damage. Her spirit negates, though, and her spirit is four. We'll grab her deck. One, two, three, four. Come on. No successes. Okay, I could use two inspiration to stop that. I think it's worth it. I'm going to use two of the inspiration to get two successes. That means we don't take any physical damage, which means we do not have to shuffle a weakness into our deck. <laughs> Man, that's only half the enemies, you guys. We still have to keep going. This one will move two to attack Legolas or the closest. And let's see. A dagger slices through the air as the woman kicks and strikes at you. Uh, it looks like Might is going to negate. After this, you discard a prepped, uh, a prepped card. This one can most certainly get to Legolas. One, two. So he's going to move into here and attack Legolas. So I understand they couldn't give Legolas all fours, <laughs> but really his might only being two. I mean, did you see him? <laughs> oh, that's a success. Uh, oh, oh, no, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have to discard this anyways. We'll use Undying Might as our second success because it's testing our might. So one, two, we take no damage. Okay, one more enemy to activate. Uh, attack Elena or the closest hero. I'm sure he'll be able to attack... And a dagger slices through the air, same thing, and discarding a prep spell, a uh, prepped card. This ruffian most definitely can move into here. Now, you guys, I forgot there's a rock here. Let me read you what a rock can do. So if you test to negate your damage or fear while in a space with a boulder, you may convert one of your inspiration icons to a success. Totally missed that, so I'm going to go ahead and give her one inspiration back because she would only have needed one from that last attack. And when she used uh, one of her inspiration for that last test, she could give another hero, a.k.a. Aragorn, that inspiration. So Aragorn will also have one additional inspiration. That's so cool. Her ability is awesome. You just have to remember it. 
Okay, she's defending with might this time, which isn't great. One, oh, wow, that's awesome. Two, actually, that is great. She goes, what the heck? This guy does not hit hard. <laughs> Two successes means she doesn't take any damage. She'd have to discard a prep skill card, but she doesn't have any. We'll then go ahead and confirm, and that should end the shadow phase. Yep, now threat's going to increase by six. So we're going to 12, and what's going to happen? There must be more Vargs just out of sight, because the sound of their howls seem to come from all around you. Each hero suffers one face-down fear, uh, spirit negates. Since we're here with Elena already, I'm going to go ahead and start with her. She has four as her spirit. One, two, three, four. Uh, and wow, fail, 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 and an inspiration icon only. I think we're just going to go ahead and take the fear, because it is face-down. And she is surrounded by three enemies. I would be kind of scared, too. Our spirit for Aragorn is only two. One, <laughs> two. I, we've got so much inspiration. Let's use one just to negate it. I just don't want to take too much fear because I already have one. Last but not least, we have Legolas. He's also only a spirit of two. That's a fail. And now nah, I'm just going to take the one fear face down here as well. This means everyone has one fear apiece, but they're all face down, so that's nice. Face down fear is definitely easier to get rid of than face up. So we'll hit continue. And we have place one goblin scout on the indicated space. We'll hit continue. Oh my gosh, more. One orc marauder. And I'm sure we're not done. No, we are done. Oh, okay. Let's do our rally phase. Uh, so we'll each scout two. Aragorn and Elena will scout three. Legolas will unfortunately only scout two. Here we have our scouts for Legolas, Elena, and Aragorn. And for Legolas, I think it just makes sense. We're going to prep time of need, and we'll put well-provisioned at the bottom of his deck. For Elena, we'll also prep time of need, and then we're going to put both of these traveling songs on top of her deck because that will give us a guaranteed five hits and a pierce with her uh, dagger. That's awesome. For Aragorn, this is a little bit harder. What do we want to do? We could do Strider or Time of Need. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm thinking with the inspiration that we have, let's get Strider because it gives us more flexibility. And then I'm going to go ahead and put Time of Need actually on top of my deck and Cleverwood on the bottom. Why I'm putting uh, Time of Need on top is because I could potentially use two of my inspiration and make that two successes. So that'd be kind of nice. That'll end this round. We've got a ruffian here with Legolas, an orc marauder here with Aragorn. We've got two ruffians and a goblin over there with Elena, and another goblin over there. Let's see what we're going to do. 